எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் ஹிண்ட் ஹாட்டிலி வெல்கம் யூ டு நோ அ ஸ்டேபிள் மல்டி வைப்ரேட்டர் தேங்க் யூ ஃபார் வாட்சிங் திஸ் வீடியோ ப்ளீஸ் லைக் ஷேர் அண்ட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு திஸ் யூடியூப் சேனல் ரிசீவ் மோர் எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் கைண்ட்லி சஜஸ்ட் யுவர் வேல்யூபிள் ஃபீட்பேக் டு இம்ப்ரூவ் த ஃபோர்த் கமிங் வீடியோஸ் தேங்க் யூ எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் இன் A stable multivibrator is a free running multivibrator. It is so called because here its output state changes on its own after some predetermined time interval and thus does not require a triggering pulse. Here the output of the circuit simply oscillates between the high and low state freely. It is also called as a square wave generator. The figure 1 shows the circuit diagram of the unstable multivibrator using IC555 timer. The figure 2 shows the internal circuit diagram of the IC555. This diagram is very useful to understand the operation of the circuit. The pin 8 is connected to the positive terminal of the supply. The pin 1 is connected to the ground. the series combination of resistors r1 r2 and the capacitor c1 is connected between terminals of the supply as shown in the figure the junction points of resistor r1 and r2 is connected to the discharge terminal pin 7 the junction points of the resistor r2 and the capacitor c1 is connected to the input pin 6 of the upper threshold comparator The output of the comparator connected to the reset terminal of the flip-flop. The junction points of the resistor R2 and the capacitor C1 is also connected to the input pin 2 of the lower trigger comparator. The output of the comparator is connected to the set terminal S of the flip-flop. The Q output is connected to the junction point of the base or of the discharge transistor and the input inverter the output is taken from the pin 3 the pin 4 is connected to the pin 8 the capacitor c is connected between the pin 5 and the ground operation when the supply is on one third of the vcc is applied to the lower comparator as the reference voltage and two third of the vcc is applied to the upper comparator as the reference voltage at the time of starting the voltage across the capacitor vc1 is zero this voltage is connected to the input of the lower comparator its output is one because it is an inverting amplifier This output one sets the RS flip flop. The output of the flip flop Q bar is zero and it is inverted by an inverter with the power amplifier. So the output is high. Now the discharge transistor Q1 is off. The capacitor C1 is charging by the VCC through resistor R1 and R2. When the capacitor voltage VC1 is more than two third of the VCC, it triggers the upper comparator because it is the non-inverting comparator. The output of the upper comparator resets the flip-flop, and the output Q bar is one. This output is inverted, so the output falls to the low zero. Now the discharge transistor Q1 is on. and the capacitor c1 is discharging through the resistor r2 and the discharge transistor q1 during discharging the capacitor the output remains in the low level when the capacitor voltage is lower than 1/3 of vcc the lower comparator is triggered and the output voltage rises to the high level the discharge transistor is q1 is off the capacitor c1 is again charging and the above operation are repeated until the supply is off now the output high and output low duration is determined by the resistors r1 and r2 and capacitor c1 this can be calculated using below formulas time high seconds t1 equal to 0.693 into r1 plus r2 into c1 Time low in seconds T2 equal to 
0.693 into R2 into C1. Time period T equal to time high plus time low, which is equal to 0.693 into R1 plus 2 into R2 into C1. Frequency F equal to 1 by time period, which is equal to 1 divided by 0.693 into R1 plus 2 R2 into C1, which is equal to 1.44 divided by R1 plus 2 R2 into C1 hertz. Duty cycle. Duty cycle is the ratio of the time for which the output is high to the total time. Duty cycle percentage. Time high divided by total time into 100 equal to T1 by T into 100 equal to R1 plus R2 divided by R1 plus 2 R2 into 100. Notes. The output is not perfect squared because the capacitor has charged through the resistors R1 and R2 and discharges through the resistor R2. So, the duty cycle differs from 50% because the total charging resistance is higher than the discharging resistance. To make the charging resistance is equal to the discharging resistance, a suitable diode is connected in parallel to resistor R2 as per the circuit diagram. Now, the capacitor C1 is charging through the resistor R1 and diode discharges through the resistor R2 and the R1 is equal to the R2. Triangular wave generator. The unstable multivibrator circuit is also used as the triangular wave generator. Take the output 2 across the capacitor C1. The charging and discharging the capacitor produces the triangular wave. Thanks to Google and Books. Kindly forgive the mistakes in the video. Thank you for your visit to this channel. Kindly view the next video. Thanks.